You are about to hear a strange but true story. Legend has it, Harry Houdini, the master magician, once claimed that he could break out of any jail cell in the world. All he had to do was walk into that jail cell with his street clothes on. I'll be out of there in one hour, no problem, he said. Well, a very old jail down south heard about Houdini's claims and they accepted his challenge. On the day of the event, many people gathered outside. Very confidently, Houdini walked right into the jail and into the cell and they shut the metal doors behind him. The first thing Houdini did was he took off his coat. Then very strangely, he took off his belt. Secretly hidden in Houdini's belt was a 10 inch piece of steel, very tough and very flexible. And Houdini started working. In about 30 minutes, that confident expression Houdini had when he walked in disappeared. In one hour, he was bathed in sweat. And at the end of two hours, Houdini in defeat collapsed against the door, which then opened. It opened because you see, that door had never been locked. But that's not entirely true, is it? That door was locked. It was firmly and thoroughly locked in Houdini's mind, which meant it was locked as if the best locksmith in the world had put his lock on it. The mind is powerful. How many doors in your life do you think are locked but aren't? How many times have you been stuck in the mental prison of overthinking? Something that really had a simple solution. There is an ancient African proverb that says, when there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. Your mind is the most powerful force you will ever face. It will tell you lies. It will tell you, you can't do that. You're not meant for that. You're not good enough for that. You can't go on anymore. You don't have the energy. You must thank it for its opinion and carry on. Because like Houdini showed us, the only locked doors that exist are in your own mind. The doors in reality are open. And all you have to do is walk through. Feel like that kid that doesn't get picked uh, to play uh, soccer at school, or picked to uh, play baseball, or picked to do anything, just left out. That's what this coronavirus feels like. Left out. <clears throat> the game that we don't get to play. We don't get a seat at the, hand, uh, the poker table on this one. Game of the century. Mm. Just bystanders. Well, hope I'm on the on the winning team. <laughs> Fuck.
Well, so far it hasn't really affected my life too much. Gym closing, that's about it so far. Still working, which is good. But I think they've got some incentive packages for EI now. So I guess that's kind of uh, um, good, I suppose. So got to get a fucking camera holder. Where is all this money coming from? I think it's an investment by big banks. I think they're using this opportunity to get everyone in debt. It's the model, right? If you follow the elite shit, get countries in debt. Then when they can't pay it back, you start making the rules. Now they're doing with common people. If you believe that kind of shit. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it. Plausible? Yeah, true. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Oh, I don't fucking care. But it definitely feels like, you know, we're on the sidelines on this one. It is interesting, though. Oh. <sighs> Government's lied before. Hell, I've lied. You've lied. What makes you think they're telling us the truth? Anything about the truth about any of this? <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. How could you know? If you think you know the truth, you're you're in trouble. Not that really, the truth really matters. It's kind of irrelevant, right? When you really think about it, it really doesn't matter. What game is being played? Who's doing what? All we get to do is react. You know? There's no offense from us. It's just defense. Well, I guess you could be offense, offensive. Uh, you can play offensively if you don't let it get to you. Just have a positive attitude. Which I try and do. Well, I get, I have bursts of pissed offedness. <laughs> Is that even a word? Fuck, motherfucker! I don't adjust. Shows a lot of flaws, though. <laughs> Those special videos I did the other day. Holy shit, the weather gold. Holy fuck. The other camera hit a lot of flaws. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm just waking up. So how do I like working at home? Ah, uh, that's an adjustment. Once I start rolling, I'll really enjoy it. It's just establishing a new routine of it, a new mindset. I'll still make some gains. Yes, I will. I'll make it in a positive somehow. 
Another bump in the road. Another bump in the road. Oh. There. Let's shut that stupid fucking fan off. It's not like I'm smoking in here. I do smoke in my bathroom sometimes. <sighs> oh. My shifts did cut, get, got cut this week though, but not, not, uh, in a, badly yet. Because I was covering shifts for another guy, so I was getting like full weeks. But his job uh, got shut down, so he had to take his shifts back. So hopefully I just get back to my regular hours, which I was originally budgeted for, and that's fine. I don't go up much anyway, so nothing's changed there. I'm pretty quiet, keep to myself. Uh, stay focused. Keep on the right path. The path of the Lord! <laughs> no, not the path of the Lord. Uh, the path of self destruction. I'm doing really good at that. Yeah, oh good. Has it been challenging? No, no, not at all. No, I'm not sure when that turn happened. Well, I did, but I knew when it happened, exactly when it happened. It was a mind game I played with myself that kind of stuck. Yeah, maybe the guys will tell you about it sometime. I think she'd want me discussing this on YouTube. She doesn't like it when I mention her name. She gets all cranky. I don't want anyone to know my business. I thought about getting a dog a lot. I mean, I've been like fucking this close to getting a dog. <laughs> Now I don't have to, kids. The owner of the property just got an Australian Shepherd. Oh, fuck. N Naya. Just see this fucking thing. Beautiful. Now we're gonna we're gonna become best buds. I already know that. I already own that, so I pretty much have a puppy anyways. So looking forward to spending some time with her. That'll be fun. start falling asleep then I have the potential of falling slipping in the tub and that would suck then I couldn't work out which would really suck then I couldn't work which could make money which would even suck even more all because they didn't want to cut my video short so I'm gonna cut it short morning diary Signing off. So see you guys again. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. This episode is brought to you by Six Star, guaranteed to make you big as fuck! And special thanks to Working Hands. It's the shit!